Do you want to discover how to create a powerful character arc for your protagonist but have no idea where to start? In this video you'll learn how to achieve just that by working on three simple elements. The ghost, the lie and the truth. I'm screenwriter Pietro Schito and this is Write for Animation. If you want to become a successful animation screenwriter, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I post a new video. A movie that uses this approach in a clear way is Raya and the Last Dragon, written by Keegan and Adele Lim. What I love about this approach is that it gets to the core of your character arc in a simple way that you can apply to your story. In a nutshell, the lie is a specific belief of your protagonist that limits her growth and happiness. The story will bring her into a journey to discover the truth, which is what your character must learn to be fulfilled. The ghost is a traumatic event that fuels your character's lie and prevents her from believing in the truth. We'll learn more about that in a minute. Now let's discover these principles in action in Raya. The movie starts with a prologue that gives us all the information we need to understand the world of the story. The prosperous land of Kumandra is ravaged by evil spirits called Drun that petrify people and dragons. Sisu, the last standing dragon, concentrates her magic into a gem and banishes the Drun, bringing back Kumandra's people but not the dragons. A power struggle for the gem divides Kumandra into tribes fang, heart, spine, talon, and tail. This important exposition brings us to our protagonist. Raya gets trained to become guardian of the gem by her father. You passed the test. Then, the central dramatic theme is expressed and represented by Raya's father. We were once unified, harmoniously as one. Kumandra. That's ancient history, Ba. But it doesn't have to be. Now, the writers state what's at stake and introduce the theme of trust. If we don't stop and learn to trust one another again, it's only a matter of time before we tear each other apart. I believe that we can be Kumandra again, but someone has to take the first step. Trust me. Chief Benja represents the voice of the truth. We have to trust one another and someone has to take the first step. And his thesis clashes with Raya's, who thinks Kumandra is ancient history. During a feast her dad holds to reunite the tribes, Raya befriends Namari, the daughter of the chief of the Fang tribe. Seeing people coming together to share food, Raya gets a glimpse of the truth and she's attracted to it. Maybe we really could be Kumandra again. When creating our protagonist, it's important to show that within him or her exists the potential to change. Really? But that's where the ghost comes in. The ghost is a traumatic event that haunts the protagonist and makes her believe the lie. Raya decides to trust Namari, revealing the location of the gem. I want to show you something. Here, Raya is actively choosing to trust others. She chooses the truth, but... You've been very helpful. <laughs> in a different world, maybe we could have been friends. Alerted to the attack, the tribes fight over the gem, which gets destroyed in the scuffle. The, the drone reawaken. Each tribe steals a piece of the gem. There's still light in this. There's still hope. No! I love you, my Dutra. Uh, no! A wounded chief Benja throws Raya into the river, where the drone cannot hurt her, but they do get to him. That's Raya's ghost. The one time she trusted someone, things went horribly wrong. And symbolically, the truth that her dad represented gets petrified with him. As K.M. Wyland shares in her book Creating Characters Arcs, the key to identifying the ghost is understanding it will always be the underlying cause for the protagonist's belief in the lie. After the ghost, we totally get why Raya believes that you cannot trust anyone. For the next six years, Raya treks across Kumandra to find Sisu, the last dragon, in order to help her recover the missing gem pieces. Notice how clearly she expresses her ghost. I made a mistake. I trusted someone I shouldn't have, and... and now the world's broken. Sisu Tatu. I just 
really, really want my Bob back. Rai is emotionally wounded. She feels guilty and misses her dad. The ghost hurts, but also creates empathy. And it's about what writer-director Andrew Stanton defines as the greatest story commandment. Make me care. Please, emotionally, intellectually, aesthetically, just make me care. Now that we care about Raya, we are rooting for her to discover the truth. As we get into the second act, Raya finally manages to summon Sisu. We see the emergence of two goals. If we can get all the other gem pieces, you I can, can reassemble, reassemble it and throw the drone away. away. And bring my Ba back? And bring all of Kumandra back. Raya's goal of bringing her dad back is what in screenwriting we call the want. The want is an external goal. It's what the character thinks it's important and is connected to the lie. Because Raya believes that Kumandra's ancient history and you can't trust anybody, she's still unable to accept Sisu's goal and limits her objective to just freeing her dad. The need is what the character must realize in order to fulfill her life. In a word, the thing your character needs is the truth. If you'd like to dig deeper into want and need, check out the video in which I explain how it plays a major role in Pixar's Onward. If you pair your character with a sidekick in your story, make sure it's someone who has an opposite perspective in life. Marlin and Dory, Lady and Tramp, Ian and Barley, Bernard and Bianca, Luca and Alberto. Let me know in the comments what other duos come to mind. And remember, this is not only for conflict and humor, it's also a manifestation of truth and lie. Ryan and Sisu go to Tail to recover the second piece of gem. Touching the gem, Sisu achieves shape-shifting powers and hides in human form. After facing Amari, they get away on Boon's boat, who lost his family to the Drone. Despite Boon's friendliness and goodwill, Raya does not fully trust him. We don't know him, it could be poison. Why would he poison us? Yeah, why would I poison you? Here comes her ghost again. Wow, you really got some trust issues. Look, my father blindly trusted people and now he's stoned. The group arrives at Talon to claim the third gem piece. Raya runs into a defenseless baby alone in the street. Really? A con baby? The story and the new characters keep reinforcing the lie that she believes. You can't trust anyone, not even a baby. Raya recruits the baby and her monkey friends, while Sizo trusts an old lady. That's what I've been trying to tell my girl Raya. And she's all like, can't trust people. But the old fragile lady reveals to be none other than Talon Chiefness, who betrays Sisu and offers her to the drone, extorting her for the other gem pieces. But I, I trusted you. Big mistake. Raya rescues Sisu and reclaims the third piece of the gem. This experience shakes Sisu's belief for a moment and fuels Raya's lie even more. I can't believe it. That old lady was really gonna hurt me. Well, I'm sorry, Sisu, but that's what the world is now. You can't trust anyone. <sighs> we are around the midpoint, where the lie and the truth are tested by the story. Raya keeps confirming her point of view, but this time Sisu proposes an alternative. Now pay special attention to their dialogue. Yeah, well, the world's broken. You can't trust anyone. Or maybe the world's broken because you don't trust anyone. You sound just like my ba. Well, he sounds like a smart man. Yeah, he was. I really wanted to believe him. I really wanted to believe that we could be Kumandra again. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try. And I did. And you know what happened? I got kicked in the back by someone who gave me a gift. Kumandra is a fairy tale. The only thing important to me now is bringing my Ba back. Now, Raya is caught between the truth and the lie, and until she changes, she won't be able to accomplish her mission. The group then arrives at Spine, where they meet a warrior named Tong. <laughs> Nomari intercepts them, but Raya holds her off in a fight so that the others can escape. Nomori is getting the upper hand, but before she is able to defeat Raya, Sisu turns back into a dragon and saves Raya. After having had a moment face to face with Nomori, Sisu suggests allying with her rather than stealing the final piece. Deep down, I got a feeling she wants to fix the world as much as we do. You weren't there when Namari betrayed me. When Raya refuses, Sisu takes her back to the remains of Heart and tells of how her siblings' trust in her was what really empowered her to save Kumandra. How could I possibly trust her? 
But if somehow you could, you wouldn't just bring your Ba back. You'd also bring back his dream, Kumandra. Once again, Sisu is inviting Raya to believe in the truth, to fulfill her father's dream. And for the first time, Raya is considering trusting her. How would I even approach Namari? After all that's happened, but sometimes you just have to take the first step, even before you're ready. Trust me. If you're already having some aha moments, please consider giving this video a like as we keep exploring how truth and lie battle each other. Raya and Sisu meet privately with Namari, but Namari, torn between her responsibility to save Feng's reputation and her wish to help defeat the drone, threatens to shoot them upon seeing the gem pieces. Stay back! It was foolish to trust someone from Feng! Sisu tries to calm Namari. I trust you, Namari. With the last dragon dead, and the water subsequently gone, Fang is overrun by the drone. This is Raya's ghost all over again. What was hunting Raya since her childhood is now repeating itself, confirming that she was right. You really cannot trust anyone. Angry, Raya confronts Namari, while her companions rescue the people of Fang using the gem pieces. Raya, best in Namari, prepares to kill her but stops upon finally recognizing her own fault in Sisu's death due to her inability to trust others. I don't care if you believe me. Sisu did. But you didn't trust her. That's why we're here. Instead of finishing her, she heads off to help the group. The drone gain on Raya's group. Raya, remembering how it was trust what allowed Caesar to save the war beforehand, urges the others to unite and reassemble the gem. We can still put it together. It can still work. Caesar's gone, Raya. It's not about her magic. It's about trust. What? I mean, that's why it worked. That's why we can do it too. By doing the one thing Caesar wanted us to do, what my ba wanted us to do, and to finally trust each other and fix this. We'll never trust her. Then let me take the first step. Now Raya has finally embraced the truth. Notice how this is not just an internal thought. The protagonist needs to put her revelation into action and risk it all. The rest follows suit with the Mari assembling the gem before the drone petrify her as well. With the gem reassembled and everybody trusting each other, the drone are gone and everyone, including the dragons, are back. The dragons revive Sizo while everyone reunites with their lost loved ones, including Raya and her father. <sighs> at the end, the dragons and the tribes gather at heart to celebrate and finally reunite as Kumandra. Now let's focus on 10 takeaways you can apply to your script. The central dramatic theme of your movie creates two points of view, the truth and the lie. Your main character starts in a state of stasis. The ghost is a traumatic event that confirms the lie. The main character encounters someone that embodies the truth. All the events that follow needs to express or confront that truth. In the midpoint, the truth and the lie clash against each other and the protagonist doubts what she believes. Acting according to the truth causes the all is lost moment, proving that the lie is the way. But then the main character has a revelation about the truth. Now the protagonist has to put her new belief into action and risk it all. The realization of the truth usually has a positive effect on the world of the story. Welcome to Kumandra. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more by reviewing the entire structure of Raya and the Last Dragon, you can download the free PDF from the link in the description. And if you're struggling with your story, I'd love to help. Shoot me an email at pietro at writeforanimation.com. I read all of them and I'll do my best to get back to you. This is Pietro from Write for Animation. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.